Hey folks, welcome back to Good Enough Customs. So, um, last week we covered uh, the breaks and fun times with all of that. <laughs> hmm, still a little, still a little bitter about it. But you know, as you can see, we got uh, fresh brake lines. Uh, as you cannot see, we have fresh bearings in the hubs, fresh grease, uh, resurfaced rubber. You know what? It was in last week's video. <laughs> There's a link. How about that? So, uh, <laughs> and in case you don't know who Little John is, what? Little John is my 1986 GMC one-ton dually um, that I picked up at a an estate auction. So, uh, uh, it's a pretty cool little truck. But anyways, this week, what are we doing? We're going to uh, tackle this here master cylinder um this guy's grimy and gross and just blah um you can kind of see you know that brake fluid is very dark uh i don't know if you can see the trash down in the brake fluid or not but there's trash in there um so we're just gonna go ahead and replace this master cylinder might as well so you may ask he's like well why are you replacing it when you don't even know if it works right or not well it, they're cheap it's not a ton of money folks for a new master cylinder it's usually just more of a pain to swap them out um i think between the new calipers new bearings um new hoses and the new master cylinder i think i'm at about 250 bucks um not including the uh the core charge um i still have a couple of those for the brake calipers but i get that money back it's like 40 50 bucks all so right now i'm probably like 300 dollars, but it'll be you know 250 260 something like that but i mean really 260 bucks for fresh brakes that ain't bad at all and fresh brands <laughs> fresh brake hoses anyways <laughs> it's a little bit of an investment to for something that i don't have to worry about for a very long time so yeah that's great um so yeah so this is what we're gonna work on today now i have been going through uh over the last couple weeks that this thing's been sitting in my shop and hitting the uh the brake line fitting and the brake line on uh, front and rear this is the front this is the rear been hitting these dudes up with uh uh free all to try to get that rust to break loose um now earlier i was talking with crook out here we're just sitting here chit-chatting and uh i just grabbed my line wrench and put it on there and just kind of gave it a couple little things and boy she broke right loose i mean didn't didn't hardly give me a fight at all now, one thing I will say is, hey, you got your brake line fitting, it breaks loose. That's great. It's fantastic. It's half the battle. The other half is this brake line. It tends to want to rust inside that brake line fitting. So uh, if you end up with that happening, what if now if you watch my little extra coil here, you'll see that they still move. At least they were still moving. Yeah, you can see they still kind of bump a little bit. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. But yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it wanting to move a little bit. So it's still got a little hitch to it, but for the most part, it's clear. Um, I can actually take this guy all the way and she doesn't twist. So what you don't want to do is this guy be seized to the brake line fitting. And then as you go to unscrew that brake line fitting, it just starts twisting the whole thing. Kind of like what I had happen on that freaking brake hose over there. Um, <laughs> Cause uh, it's just an aggravation. So yeah, so you, you can kind of, if, if you run into it sticking really bad, um, you know, your brake line hose or your brake line is sticking into your fitting and uh, the whole thing's wanting to turn, just soak the stupid thing down with your penetrant and then just take it, get it broke loose until you see this guy start turning. Once you see this this uh, the line start to turn, then you just tighten it back up and then back and forth. Just don't go past your limit. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Do that a bunch of times and then hit it with more penetrant. Let it sit for a second and then see if you can't push a little bit further and then do it all over again and then see if you can't push a little further, a little further. Before you know it, you'll have a you know good solid half turn out of it and you ain't got to worry about nothing. That's just a little tip to keep from, you know, totally trashing brake lines, especially up here at the master cylinder. Um, all right. Well, I guess, I guess that's about it for right now. So uh, I'm going to get my little uh, step stool that I like to work on since this thing's jacked up in the air uh get something to drain this guy out and uh let's get to it first things first we're going to pull this master cylinder off 
Um, I was going to try and just run the fluid out and uh, this guy's a little uh, little too full of crap. It won't even it won't even let it drain. So uh, we're just gonna pull it out full. I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we'll put the lid back on her. Hopefully that lid will keep her from emptying out. Uh, this guy should still be loose. Yep. So we can pull our brake lines off. So the front reservoir is doing what I would expect, which is dripping. The rear reservoir isn't doing anything because it's just plumb plugged. So, uh, yeah. All right, I guess uh, I got two bolts over here and over here that hold this guy on. Um, and then I've also got to get the, uh, the plunger taken care of as well. So let me get the tools for that and I'll be right back. So my hydro boost lines are actually zip tied to a little bracket that sits in front of the master cylinder. So I'm gonna cut that little zip tie. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna pull the bracket, which is disgusting. And there's our master. All right, old master cylinder's off. Um, I just grabbed an old jug. You can kind of see this thing was clean. See all the crap kind of floating around in here and how brown that brake fluid is. That's pretty bad, but I mean, look in here. I mean, good God almighty, look at all that. So yeah, the front side of this guy was completely jammed up i mean not much going on there rear wasn't doing much better but uh it wasn't it ain't as bad down in there as it is over here so uh yeah good call got the new master cylinder out comes in this nice wax paper um looks so pretty <laughs> so i'm gonna do a uh I'm gonna do a little clean up here and just kind of clean all the services up and try to, you know, make, I'm already here. I might as well clean it up a little bit while I'm, you know, in here doing stuff. So I'm gonna clean all that up. The, uh, this is the bracket that holds the uh, hydrobose lines. Um, it's not terrible, but it's, it's pretty gross. So I'm just gonna kind of clean stuff up. And uh, once I get it all cleaned up and we're ready to drop this one on there, I'll turn the camera back on. Got our nice shiny new one. I'm just going to slap her on in there. Don't want to forget our holder for the uh, Hydro Boost lines. This is a little uh, bleeding kit. I got, uh, I believe it was at Southeastern Truck Nationals a couple years ago. Um, it was part of the goodie bag whenever you registered. So uh, I can't remember who provided these. I think it was it was either C, uh, CPP or uh, Brothers. I can't remember which. I'm, I'm wanting to say CPP. But uh, these things are great, man. You just thread them in there. And, uh, well, I'll show you. So, yeah, just thread it in there. And then you get this nice little uh, adapter. That you can put on here you just clip him on and you run this little tube all the way down to the bottom of the uh, master cylinder and we'll just go ahead and clip him there run him down there try to take that kink out of it 
That ain't gonna do anybody any favors. I don't know why this back one's kinking up, but it's doing that. All right, now all I gotta do is just fill it up. Fill it up and make sure that it uh, doesn't get down below where the tube actually is. Let me go find my brake fluid and I'll be right back. So we got all the brake fluid in there. Um, I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute, let it try to get some of the bubbles out just initially. But then, uh, then all I wanna do is go inside and start running the brake pedal in and out. Um, and that should pump the brake fluid up through here back into the existing fluid. And eventually it'll just be solid fluid with no air bubbles. So uh, that's pretty much the name of the game at this point. You just keep doing it until you're not getting any air. So. All right, I'll do that and be back. All right, added just a little bit more fluid in here just to be on the safe side. So uh, I guess I'm gonna go in here and do some uh, pumping on the brakes. That about did it. All right, no more bubbles. We must be good. So, uh, blood that out. This guy back here was sucking a little bit of air, so I had to crank him down. Um, what well, I, I just finger tightened it. I should have put the wrench on it. Same thing up here. He was a little, he was a little loosey goosey. So uh, tighten that one up too. So, uh, uh, but yeah, ready to go now. So I'll slap the cover on this guy, and then uh, reconnect our our hard lines here in just a minute. That way you don't mash your fingers. All right, brake lines are all hooked back up. Now all I gotta do is bleed the fronts, the backs. I never disconnected. They'll need to be bled anyways because I'm sure there's a little bit of air introduced right in here. But uh, uh, the fronts have gotta get bled out because, well, there's a whole new line on the passenger side and a new hose on the passenger side and just a new hose on the driver's side. I did push brake clean through the, uh, the front uh, brake line, uh, try to flush all that nasty mess out uh, may end up doing the same with the rear line, um, but we're not going to do that today. So, uh, uh, so yeah. So, anyways, got to got to push uh, push through these guys, and I want to do that to where I'm not introducing um, contaminants that could still be in the line. I don't want to introduce that stuff into my brand new calipers. So we're probably just going to let these guys gravity bleed um, and uh, just let it ride like that for a little while. Or once we get some of that done, I'll I'll I'll, pull, I'll turn the camera back on and be back. Well, all right, uh, yeah, stupid me, I forgot to uh, turn the camera back on whenever we started bleeding the brakes. We're so excited to get it done. So, uh, yeah, new master cylinder in, topped off. We let it gravity bleed for you know probably a good forty-five minutes to an hour. I'm guessing somewhere in that neighborhood. Let it gravity bleed out a little bit till we started seeing it drip out of the. Uh, uh, the brake hose, which I'll go to the other side. I got light over there, but uh, just had the uh, the brake hose disconnected, just kind of hanging. Um, so this guy was just hanging, and uh, just let it drip out. 
and it dripped out all the uh, the brake clean and the old fluid that was in there so i was good with that um after it stopped dripping for quite some time <laughs> then it was like all right screw it we hook it up to the caliper and then started bleeding um you know obviously there's your brake bleeder um and again i said it before any if you're not sure which caliper is which the brake bleeder always goes at the top so that way you know this air is gonna a bubble is gonna want to rise so uh uh we sat there we bled it out um quite a bit and uh uh got good good bit of air out of this one which was to be expected because it's a whole new line and uh a new brake hose so uh, a lot of air came out of this guy quite a bit came out of the driver's side but uh yeah that uh that pedal's all there now um i think it's only got about maybe that much play before it just starts really throwing some pressure down now the rear i can i can hear air going into the rear brakes um but we're not gonna worry about those guys right yet uh, that's that's for tomorrow matt to deal with actually not even tomorrow matt that's for future matt to deal with so uh <laughs> so i'll deal with that whenever i get to the back end of this guy but uh so that's gonna wrap it up for this one um i you know sorry folks i know it's not a really long episode but uh um i've this has been a uh it's been a rough week at work <laughs> <laughs> plus i've been on call and i think my, my day started a little before five this morning and uh i'm, I'm pretty doggone tired i'm ready to call it a day so uh uh so yeah so hopefully there's some information for you to use there um if not uh you know sorry but hey look brakes and they work good <laughs> so um but yeah don't be afraid to get out there and work on your brakes i mean that's it's really it's not that bad and like i said it's not that expensive i think before before the core charges it was right around 300 bucks and then after i returned the cores which are stacked up right there ever so nicely um once i return those guys they'll give me like 50 bucks back 60 bucks something i don't even remember it's something like that so around about 250 bucks is what this will end up i have costing um for this front end part so uh that's uh that's not a whole lot of money you know considering the overall cost of you know everything when it comes to working on these guys but uh um yeah i'm, I'm glad uh, glad we got through all that so uh, next thing i think we're going to work on it's going to be dropping that transmission out, um, which is going to be terrible, I'm sure, because everything's coated in just a really nasty, grimy, thick coat of grease and grime. It's it's going to be a filthy job. But yeah, I guess that'll probably be something I'll work on uh, next week. <laughs> if you want to follow me on social medias, uh, all that information is down in the description. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, whatever, just want to say hi um you can drop a comment below uh if you enjoyed the video hit the like button please it helps to grow the channel and uh, if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed why not just you know hit the little button down there for subscribe all that does is help you know grow the channel doesn't cost a dime just helps the channel out so uh i do appreciate y'all guys watching and uh i look forward to seeing y'all guys next week and just remember it ain't gotta be perfect just good enough. We'll see y'all later.